I'm going to guess that if I asked you what your favorite antivirus program is, it's probably the one that you're currently using. The reason for this is simple. People are generally creatures of habit. We are what we are and we like what we like. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about my favorite program. It's called Avast Antivirus. There's a handful of reasons I love Avast and in this video I'm going to cover a few of them for you. So at the end of the video, if you still want to check out some other alternatives, my buddy Nico over at Nico Knows Tech made a great top five video for you to cover some of the other programs that are out there. So you can either click on the card at the top of the screen or the description below, I'll have a link for it. When it comes to protecting your data, it's important that you have all the facts. So the first thing I love about Avast Antivirus is it is 100% free. Not for a month, not for a year, forever. 100% free. I've used the same free version on my personal computer for at least five or six years now, and I've never had to pay for it. Every year around the same time, I get prompted to upgrade to the pro version. I continue to stay with the free version, and everything works beautifully. But more on the pro version later in the video. My second reason for loving Avast is that it is proactive versus reactive. Now, what do I mean by that? With a reactive antivirus program, you are sometimes going to get notified a day or two or three days later after your program has run a scan and detected that you picked up a virus. Avast works a little different. It scans in real time while you're using the computer and if it comes across something that it determines to be a virus, it's going to quarantine it and stop you right in your tracks to prevent you from downloading it in the first place. That's what I mean by proactive versus reactive. It works with you while you use it and helps you stay safe and surf smarter. Am I thankful that the other program eventually found the virus? Yes, but I don't want days old results. I want it to stop the bug from getting on my machine in the first place. My third favorite reason, and arguably probably the most important factor, is the Avast's ability to run what is called a boot scan. Now other programs may have this, but I specifically love Avast boot scan, and here's why. If you get a bug on your computer, that is activated when you load Windows, the only way to remove that program is to stop that bug from running. Now, depending on how bad the bug is, sometimes it can be a real pain, if not impossible, to remove it while it's running. So the reason Avast Boot Scan is great is if you suspect that you have a bug, you can restart your computer, run the boot scan, and what will happen is, is Avast will find and remove that bug before Windows loads. And the reason that's important is because if Windows loading is what causes the virus to activate and cause all the problems, when you remove it prior to Windows loading, you don't have that problem. You've removed the bug, you boot into Windows, and magically everything's fine because the bug is no longer there to even run. That's what's great about the boot scan. My fourth favorite reason I love Avast is because it's 100% hands-free. The program updates virus definitions automatically and applies them in real time, so you don't have to do anything. A virus definition is a collection of known viruses that are made by virus companies that are pushed out to their antivirus programs. It's a, basically, they have a list of all the known bugs that are out there, and they include those definitions in the latest update so that your antivirus program knows what to look for. So they create these definitions, they push them down automatically, your antivirus program updates itself and you are constantly in the know and have the latest greatest chance of removing whatever may end up on your machine. The Avast team works nonstop to identify, collect, compile, and then push these updates to you so you never have to do anything except continue to run the program. Now my fifth favorite reason why I love Avast is that it can run side by side with other programs such as Malwarebytes. Matter of fact, on my personal computer, I run Malwarebytes and I run Avast free side by side with no problem. Avast can even run side by side with other programs like Norton and McAfee, even though I wouldn't recommend you do that because you don't need duplicate antivirus programs. The reason I do that is because I have a local computer repair business. Some people love their Norton, some people love their McAfee, and I try to explain to them that you keep getting viruses and this program that you love is not finding them. Let me show you an alternative. I'll install Avast on their computer and suddenly it finds all these bugs that the other program didn't find while their other program is still running. And usually, almost 100% of the time, they tell me, you know what, get rid of the old program. I want a vast, I love it, it's great. I rarely get a customer calling me back because they got more bugs on their machine after installing a vast. Simply put, 
it finds the bugs. My sixth and final reason why I love Avast is that it just runs in the background and does what it's supposed to do. It doesn't slow your computer down. It scans in real time as you use your computer and doesn't even require you to do a scheduled scan because it scans in real time. If you remember earlier when I talked about the program being proactive versus reactive, that's one of the ways that that happens is because it scans in little tiny chunks as you use your computer. And if it detects something that is in one of those updated definitions, it's going to tag it every single time and it's going to block it. It's going to stop it. It's going to prevent you from going to it. It has browser plugins that if you go to a malicious website, it will literally pop up a screen telling you this site has been reported as bad. Do you want to continue? And you can say, yes, I want to continue and you keep going and everything's fine. Or you say, get me out of here and it'll take you to some random safe website like Disney or ABC or something like that. Fantastic. Especially if you are prone to clicking on links that look legitimate and aren't. This program is fantastic at keeping you from accidentally clicking on those things and thereby affecting your computer. So with all that being said, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you about all the amazing features in the pro version that aren't available in the free version. There are a multitude of extra features available to you. There's remote access protection to keep people from remoting into your computer and taking over. There's real site to help ensure that when you go to a favorite website like Facebook or your personal banking site that you are actually going to a legitimate site and not a spoofed website and thereby putting in your username and password and giving it to the bad guys. There's another feature called Sandbox, which if you download a program that you are not 100% sure of, lets you run this program in a virtual window that protects it from the rest of the computer. That's a great way to keep your machine from getting infected. Avast Premium also has some great privacy features, including a secure password vault that stores all of your passwords in one place so you don't have to keep up with them. There is a webcam shield to protect unauthorized access to your desktop or laptop webcam. There's a sensitive data shield that allows you to put an extra layer of protection around sensitive documents. So for example, if you had a photo of your driver's license or your social security card or you saved last year's tax return on your computer, you can put that inside that sensitive data shield and it is essentially impenetrable. And documents like that are things that the bad guys absolutely use in a second to steal your identity. There is a secure data shredder to make sure that if you want to delete a file permanently, it will. There's a junk file remover called Cleanup Premium that gets rid of all the extra crap that gets picked up while you're using your computer on a daily basis. All in all, Avast Premium does offer a great suite of additional security features if you are the type of person that might benefit from that. Or if you know somebody in your family who is a little click happy, that is the kind of thing that you want to put on their computer to give them 100% bulletproof protection. Now, again, it isn't free. It's not expensive, but it's not free. But in some situations, having that pro version actually will end up saving you money because if it prevents an attack because you have those additional features like the sensitive data shield enabled, what's the cost of having someone steal your identity? You spend a little bit of money on that extra pro version and you'll never have to worry about it. To me, that's money well spent. So like I said, these extra features aren't included in the free version, but I would definitely encourage you to at least download the free version. Check it out, take it for a spin, see what you think. If you want to upgrade to the pro version later, go for it. You don't have to, you can stay with the free version until the end of time. Simply put, in my opinion, I think Avast is just better. Just because you've always used Norton or McAfee on your system doesn't make it better. Many times people only use these programs because that is the program that it was included on their computer when they bought it. A lot of people have no idea that there is a free program out there that works better. The reality is, is the antivirus programs battle. They go to war. They want you, when you open that machine and set up Windows, they want you to see their program because if their program is on the computer and you decide to upgrade, they make money. There's billions of dollars in this industry. So they battle tooth and nail to try to outbid each other on how much they're willing to pay per machine for those antivirus programs to be loaded on there. And it has nothing to do with your security. Sometimes your internet provider, like Comcast, for example, will provide a free antivirus program, which is great. It's better than none, but it doesn't necessarily mean that just because your internet provider said this is you know free for you, that that is the one you should use. That's the whole purpose of this video, to explain to you that there is an alternative. This is my 30th year in the IT industry. I've used every program imaginable, every antivirus program you can think of, 
And yes, there are some programs out there that are fantastic pro version that you spend money on. Now, me personally, like I said, I've used the Avast Free for a long time and I come across stuff that would terrify you every single day and my Avast Free detects it all and I don't ever get an infection from hooking up somebody's drive to my computer. That's how good it is. So if it protects me and I do this for a living, chances are you sitting at home just doing one of six or seven things that you usually do, it's probably good enough for you. Now, like I said, you could stay with the free version forever. If you wanted to upgrade to the pro, that's an option too. I would recommend that, but you absolutely do not have to do that. You could download the free version and keep it for life and it won't cost you a cent. When I get repeat calls from my customers after I've installed Avast on their computer, it's almost never a virus. Let that sink in for a second. So once again, this is only my opinion as a PC professional. Highly recommend you try Avast. It's 100% free, costs you nothing. There is literally no downside to trying it out. You might like it. If you don't like it, big deal, remove it. If you're happy with it, get rid of that other program and put that money back in your pocket. If you insist on spending money on an antivirus program because you believe that you have to pay for something for it to be good, which isn't true, but if you believe that, spend the money on the Avast Pro you'll find out that it has a lot more features, a lot more protection built in than the program you're using, and it's gonna be faster and more streamlined, and it's gonna make your machine actually run a little faster. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to try Avast, I've included a link for you down in the description below. Just click on it and download the free version. Give it a try, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, and we'll see you in the next video.